Today, we'll be looking at how to use the rake gem in Ruby. Rake is a make-like program implemented in Ruby. It lets us automate our task and we can create various applications with it. If you're familiar with Ruby on Rails, whenever we run our migrations, we're running a rake task. So we'll learn how to build a simple rake task in Ruby. So the first thing we'll do is we'll create our blank folder. So we'll say, make directory and we'll call this rake we change our directory there and we open this up in visual studio code now that we have this here we can add our gems to our gem file so we'll create a gem file here and we'll say well, our source is ruby gems dot org and then for our gem we'll simply only add the rig gem here with that we can run bundle install and this will install it for us here now that that is complete we have our gem file locked here so we can go ahead and create our file so since we're using rake rake files use a specific convention we can create a file called rakefile.rb or we can if we look at the documentation it says we can also simply create a file called rake file. So if we go back here and we change this to simply rake file, or let's copy it, yeah, rake file. This will also this will also run our rake applications. So the first thing to do is in rake is we want to define our task so to do that we simply come and state task and we give the task a name so if we say this is the first task that we want and we say puts hello here we can run this if we go to our terminal and we say rake first there we go we have hello printed out if we change this to something else, like hello, whatever I wrote there, we have our first task here. So if we rename this to rakefile.rb and we run this, you can see we still have the same output. So these are some conventions that we can use to name our rake files. So if we wanted a second task, you can say task second do and say puts this is our second task so i must type this here if we say rake second you can see it runs our second task here so we can also say task third if we pass it a string and say puts this is our third task. So we say rake third. There we go. You can see this is our third task. So we can find the name of our task using symbols or we could use strings. But for consistency, we'll use symbols here. So we all have these tasks here. So we can give them a description so if we have different tasks we can say description of this testing out some random task so we have a description for our tax that's our various tasks that we can use to identify these tasks another interesting thing that we can do with rake is we can give namespaces to it so what does a namespace do? A namespace will act as a collection of related tasks. So 
if we wanted to have our namespace and we'll say namespace let's call this testing task and we also wrap this in a do block so we'll have to come down and close this so we have a group of common tasks here that are all grouped in a namespace we go back to our terminal and we say rake third you can see it will throw up an error saying don't know how to build tax third that is because we have identified this task with a names namespace so when we come here and we say rig testing task and we use a colon and we say first we have our first task running so if we use a namespace to group our various tasks we have to use the namespace in the terminal to identify the task we say this for the third one you can see this is our third task again and if we try this for the second we can see everything runs as if you, it's as it was running previously so with our basic knowledge of rig task right now we'll create a simple rig application that backs up some files that we will create so let's simply go ahead and we'll delete everything here so what we're going to do is we're going to require file file utils and with this we'll use it to create our files and we'll use it to also back up our files so let's say we have a description here we'll say we want to create and back up files so now that we have that our first task would be to create our files so we'll say task and we'll call this create files and we'll say do so what do we want to do exactly so 10 times do we can say let's create some random files so we use file utils.touch and this is the method that we use to create files using file utils so we can say all right let's give this rand 100 and we'll change this to a string and we'll say file.txt so what we're doing right now is if we run this it should successfully create a file with a random name rather and it will run 10 times so we say rig create files and we have an error here and it says unexpected colon ah this is not supposed to be a colon here so we can run this and there we go we can see he has created some random files for us so now that we have created our random files the next thing that we want to do is we want to create our backup folder so we can say we can add this to a new task or we could also just add it here so we can say file utils dot mk directory which is make directory and uh, we'll just put this in a folder above called backup and we also want to check if the directory already exists so if it ex if it does not exist we want to create it otherwise let's run this once more there we go we've created additional 10 files and it has also created our backup for us if you open up a new direct if you open up a new terminal and we head back and we check we can see we have our backup folder here 
so what we want to do next is we want to copy all our files here into our backup folder but before we do that we also want to create another folder we also want to create another folder that has the dates and time so that we will copy it based on the dates that we want to copy it so let's have our task create backup and then let's say do and then we can say okay let's create a new folder let's say file utils dot mkdr and our backup folder so we want to create a folder and we want to give this a name of the time that we currently have and we want to format that with our year our month and our day and we only want to do this if this directory does not exist already so we'll simply copy this if directory exists let me paste that in there so we have that already so if we save this and we run rake creates backup and we have a spelling error rake ah we made a mistake this should be out of this so we'll have this here so recreate backup there we go that successfully created our backup folder for us if we change our directory here to we say change directory to backup and we list what we have here you can see this is the year this is the month and this is the day so we have that created for us so what we can do next is we can get a list of all the files that we have in our folder our current folder and with that we'll call that information data and with that we can say data dot each do let's just say files I want to copy our files to our backup location we should probably even give this a variable name but this is just for demonstration and with that we can save this so if we run this once more there we go everything was run successfully and if we change our directory to this and we list our there we go we can see we have successfully created our files there so this is how we can use our rig tasks our rig gem to create various tasks if that we want to do that we want to carry out special instructions with